I came into this field uh, accidentally because I have done my bachelor's and master's in biotechnology okay. and I was completely unaware of this field. A epidemiologist is basically a disease detective you can call a type okay. of investigator okay. the government has realized now that we require a lot of trained manpower in health sciences okay. and uh, since our population is also increasing similarly we require that much amount of trained people to run okay. the health programs so hello guys welcome to career conversations uh so in this series we interview professionals and educators and our aim is to introduce students to various unconventional career paths which are out there and today we have another such exciting career path that most of us don't know or don't hear about it until we get graduated or post graduated so guys in this episode we'll discuss public health sciences as a career path with nikita rajput from center of cancer epidemiology Tata Memorial Center, Mumbai. So, uh, talking about Nikita. So, Nikita is a scientific officer at uh, TMC, at RAC, and uh, she works in the Department of Molecular Epidemiology and Population Genetics. And she has nine years of experience in this field. And currently, she is pursuing her PhD in Public Health Sciences from HBNI University. So, uh, Nikita, welcome to Career Conversations. Thank you for having me here, and thank you for the wonderful introduction which you have given. Thank you, yeah. and I am pretty much excited as you are to uh, you yeah. know start this conversation. Yeah, yeah. So let's start there. So, uh, uh, Nikita, the uh, very basic thing is uh, so how is it different than the regular medical practice? How the public service services are different than the regular med- medical practices? so like public health mainly uh, is involved into prevention and control uh, and the medicinal part and the medical part is all about treatment yes so correct. that is the major difference between the public health services and the medicinal uh, or the medical services correct so uh, so as you are studying epidemiology so can you tell us about what is epidemiology is uh, so epidemiology is one of the branch of public health Okay, okay, and as the name suggests, epi means upon and demo means uh, public or people. So it's a study of diseases on a certain uh, defined population in a given geographical area. So basically, uh, we try to understand the spread or the distribution of a certain disease, and okay. also different causes or the risk factors of a disease. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, uh so then can you walk us through your personal journey that how uh, how you have entered into this field okay so i came into this field uh, accidentally because i have done my bachelor's and master's in biotechnology okay. and i was completely unaware of this field so uh-huh. i joined as a research fellow in this lab so i was very much interested into r and d and especially my internship was in cancer research in kem uh-huh. so i wanted to uh, join in tata for the same purpose i wanted to do cancer research okay. so i had no idea about you know what is public health or what is epidemiology because we had only a, a, a unit in our masters about epidemiology okay. it is all about incidence mortality morbidity and okay. only about numbers like which are not at all interesting to any biology student right right so uh, like after having a, a like four to five years of experience i understood the impact of epidemiology what uh, public health has on society and how we can shape health through it so basically i want always wanted to be into community service and mm-hmm. i was always wanted to be into science also so it's a great mixture of both basically okay that's great that's great so uh, how did you big i mean as uh, as you mentioned that while doing your masters and all then uh, while doing research in uh, century you came to know about this field but was there any influence while taking this decision that you had so initially uh, when i was appointed here as a research fellow like i was only working into lab and uh, maybe few times in the field but uh, still that time also i found it very boring like you know i will not be doing all this statistical analysis and all these things but then i understood that uh, the, in this field you have to multitask 
so that i found very interesting and my mentors especially uh, my guide and my seniors they always used to discuss about the you know impactful uh, publication and research studies going on in epidemiology and then i slowly read about it and then i started developing interest so okay. it was a very gradual process very gradual process okay that that's great so uh, can you just describe then uh, what does a day look like for then uh, for the epidemiologist uh, what do you do in a day to day basis so a epidemiologist is basically a disease detective you can call it a okay. type of investigator okay, okay. so uh, we we uh, do some work in the field as well like training and monitoring staff social investigators then i look after the quality of the data management mm-hmm. of the data then processing of the bio specimens collected in the lab then we also have to administer and do the management of the laboratory equipments and other thing basically the lab part field part and also the writing part of the sops manuals questionnaires so basically you need to go in the field as well as you have to be in the lab and also in front of your desktop so it's oh. a combination of you know various skill sets you require here okay suppose you are going on the field so what exactly do you uh, you do on the field then okay so in epidemiology we have different study designs and all these study designs you basically have to take the uh, lifestyle history or the information okay. data collection okay uh-huh. so there are two types of data basically lifestyle data and your bio specimen that both are different types of data okay uh-huh. so mainly you have to interact with people the patients or right. uh, the cases controls healthy participants you have to take so their directly, life history uh, so you are directly getting in uh, yes. connecting with the patient yes okay. yes you have to collect data then you have to um, you know analyze the data and then you have to publish the data so right. mostly uh, you will take about like 4 to 5 years to complete one study because the sample okay. size is very large So right. the publications and all take a lot of time in epidemiology. So if you are an scientist, basic scientist, and coming into an epidemiology, you will have to develop a lot of patience in terms of publications and getting results. True, true. Okay. So then, uh, can you tell us about what type of opportunities are there in this field? Opportunities are immense because uh, in India, the public health sciences uh, have a very um, lack. in skilled manpower okay so that's why they have developed masters uh, program for you know uh, students from life sciences biotechnology microbiology biochemistry in earlier in our days the masters was only you know um, uh, allowed for the doctors nursing staffs and other medical um, people okay, okay. Uh-huh. but uh, the government has realized now that we require lot of trained manpower in health sciences okay. and uh, since our population is also increasing okay. similar early we require that much amount of trained people to run oh. the health programs oh that's wonderful so that means now many uh, many jobs would be there and yeah, so job I- opportunities are like and internationally and nationally both our degree courses also post graduate yes. courses also they have started great so uh, what type of different roles are there in this field one is this epidemiologist is one big uh, uh umbrella role but yeah. what are another roles what type of roles are there basically uh, in biostatistics you can have a job in bio biostat- specifically in data analysis data management uh-huh. then uh, you you can be an investigator uh, a field investigator or you can be a research fellow researcher scientist professor a uh, policy officer there are many roles and very interesting you can you can have jobs in government sector as well as in private sector also in pharma oh. industries they need epidemiologist oh so it's like to design public, the studies and all yeah it's like a government sector public sector and private sector all three sectors everything is covered as well as all the hospitals all the hospitals you require registry disease registry centers right so they need epidemiologist public health people to work there that's great okay so uh, then any comments on the future opportunities in this field now that also recently we have fought against the uh, ep- covid pandemic, yes covid pandemic so do you want to comment on that yeah so uh, i think recently there there has been a lot of awareness about public health uh, right. because of all the pandemic uh, going around uh, and in future also like uh, till the time we exist there will yes. be health and there will be disease so we yes. have to overcome it so you need healthcare 
for that and for healthcare you need such professionals who can handle the situation investigate uh, who can promote health basically it's so all about prevention and control because there are certain non communicable disease such as cancer we, which do not have a complete cure so in that okay. case we always promote prevention is better than cure correct correct so prevention measures uh, in, in, in with respect to if we talk about cancer then how do you uh, go about this prevention what do you exactly tell people yeah so prevention is like uh, there are many phases the primary phase secondary phase and the tertiary phase of prevention in the mm -hmm. initial uh, part of the prevention we have this health promotions health education and then the primary screening you know like uh, certain kinds of cancer they can be screened such as breast cancer cervical cancer we have this screening okay. and then uh, in the secondary part is that uh, there are some you know benign tumors or some so, such kind of things if they have developed then we consult them counsel them and we give them treatment okay. and then there is the last tertiary phase of it where the disease has already developed and okay. we have to give a proper care or a treatment okay so like all these things are you know taken care in tata hospital so right so all these while doing this you must be then in touch with uh, the, the medical practitioner that will that might also be working with yes, you yes very right? closely yes very yes close. yes right and while doing this uh, policies and all that then you are also in uh, the ministry hamster. of india and yeah right. with every everyone like yes. all people so from all sectors interacting with all these people yes yeah. so that's great okay so while doing all these uh, studies and all this so what is that thing that you love about this epidemic basically i wanted to create something i wanted to have a communication and uh, basically i wanted to help the society okay uh -huh. so uh, creating awareness about health is something which i like and personally also i um, you know i want to promote it because uh, definitely i believe in ayurveda yoga and all the traditional knowledges of india which we already have and we are being researching on that correct so correct. i would like to promote that in near future and that's why i am doing phd in health sciences also and then communication is a part uh, is a key factor where we can connect to people okay yes. and uh, then uh, like you know the people should be benefited the society should be benefited that was the goal okay so this right. is a part where i can you know contribute something yes. Yes. from my studies or from my education or whatever i can right so uh, nikita can you then give some some advice to the juniors that while entering into this field what they should be uh, aware about so before entering this field i think they should first read about uh, this field they should go on different sites such as uh, cdc ir and uh, different sites from india such as uh, national health mission they have different health programs they should read about different health programs what are the public policies and like basically what is public health in india and internationally and then they should see if it is appealing to them uh, if they are interested in data analysis or you know uh, like uh, field epidemiology or if they are interesting you know in uh, health promotion or health yeah. financing and other things such type such kind of things and then only they should go for it like because uh, yeah because it's a very new field and then you don't want to get stuck with it like you know are i have done this i don't know nothing about it i just you know ekdam josh mein aake i have taken the decision so i think you should read about it if it correct, appeals correct. you then only you should go forward correct in this field so a um, ma majority of us would be thinking that to go into the public health services we should be having any bio background or anything but as you mentioned there are like data analysis statistics so these yes. subjects are also so students from this field they can also enter into this yes yes and in the masters program the coursework is so vast na that they will uh -huh. get to know about different subjects of public correct. health correct Yeah. So it's not just for bio. Then it's yeah. also for the computer science people. Because also. you need various skill sets also. So that's yeah, why true. they are they are including people from different fields. Okay. So now that you were telling about skill sets, beside these having the knowledge from different fields, what other skill sets would you like to? Uh, you should love analyzing. Okay. Basically, thinking, analyzing, then uh -huh. designing studies, and uh, working for. you know a cure or a treatment or basically uh, how you can prevent a disease you know basically you should have that mindset that and in, uh, you know this uh, curiosity you should have 
basically yeah correct. because if you don't have the curiosity then you cannot work in research correct. first of all that's so base, very... basic is curiosity you should have you should have a thinking mind that and uh, solution based mind uh, yes. you should uh, have some computational skills not uh-huh. very great you can learn gradually and i think uh, you should have that much of you know communication skills also because your yes. you meet different kind of people okay and different people from various sectors so you should have that much of uh, eagerness to communicate with all kind of people like right 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 it's a multitasking and uh, you will have to wear uh, multiple hats if you are an epidemiologist wow so wonderful insights uh, nikita that these are really nice uh, nicely put uh, to the i mean students who are not aware about this field i'm sure they will uh, understand many insights about this field from this interview and i'm really glad that you joined us today and talked about uh, this field and thank you so much for joining us today thank you very much thank you hope you find this conversation helpful and interesting to understand public health sciences as a potential career path and to watch such exciting career path and conversations please uh, subscribe to our channel mysphere.net on youtube and if you like this video don't forget to like share and comment thank you